hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this creative looping animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin but with the help of simple and cool tips and techniques and if you want to learn more about motion graphics and other stuff then don't forget to check out my udemy courses links are available in the description and if you're new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates so without wasting any more time let's get started So here we are in Adobe After Effects, let's create a new composition, we are going to call it as main animation, width is 1920, height is 180, frame rate is 30, duration is 1 minute long and background color I am going to choose white color or let's say black color and simply hit ok and hit ok. Then go to choose grid and guide option and simply hit on title safe action. Then press ctrl and to create another composition and I am going to call it as strip and width I am going to choose uh, 1920 but height over here we are going to divide it by 12 and hit ok so if you hit ctrl k as you guys can see we are getting height 90 ok and now press ctrl y to create one solid and let's call it as white background or white solid and simply hit ok and we will lock this layer now I am going to select my ellipse and for the fill I am going to choose black color and by holding shift I am going to create one ellipse like this select this press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically like this ok now select this press s create one keyframe over here or let's do one thing we will do this animation later first we will adjust the position so select this and press p hit ctrl d to duplicate it uh, let's move this over here hit ctrl d to duplicate it let's move this over here hit ctrl d to duplicate it and let's move this over here hit ctrl d to duplicate it and let's move this over here select all of them hit ctrl d let's bring them at the top and let's move them over here like this Similarly, select this last one again and let's move this over here. Okay, now select all of them and hit Ctrl D and let's bring them at the bottom and let's move them over here. Okay, like this, and we will delete this middle one there. Okay so we have this all of them arranged really proper let's select this middle one and we will change the color of this one to the red so we can understand from this one which are on left side and upper ones are on the right, uh, right hand side okay so, and now we are going to animate the scale so select all of them and press s for scaling option and create one keyframe uh, let's go to around one second and create another keyframe go to the start and let's make the scale zero like this select those keyframes and hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift you'll move one handle over here select this and move one handle over here like this take a 20 frames gap create one keyframe then go somewhere around over here and let's make this scale 30 for a while again create gap then go over here and let's make this scale 100 again like this okay now select those this keyframes not the starting one hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move one handle over here and move one handle over here so if you see this now we will get this kind of animation okay so this is the first animation we can do like this 
and after that let's create one keyframe and go to the last and let's make this value zero okay and go to the graph select this hit f9 select this move one handle over here so we will get this kind of animation and now we need to add the frame one by one so let's go over here go to the five frame select this one and this one move this over here and we are going to take a distance of five five frames and we are going to adjust it like this So if you see this now, we will get this kind of animation and then this animation is gonna end. Okay, so select this, hit U. Let's see where is the last keyframe which is a 7 second. So I'm gonna hit N over here, right click and trim comb to work area like this. Now go to the main animation and we bring our strip over here. Then go to the last keyframe over here. Uh, then right click go to the time and choose time enable remapping and before this last keyframe we create one keyframe delete this last keyframe alt click on the stopwatch and type loop out expression like this and let's increase the duration of this so if you see this you will get this kind of animation now uh, select this and uh, delete this last solid background go to the main animation press ctrl y and we will add another background over here like this let's lock this layer now select this hit ctrl d let's move this over here uh, i think we need to add this background again because one thing is remaining let's hide this background for now now select this make sure to enable the snapping so you can properly snap it over here hit ctrl d snap it over here like this similarly select all of them hit ctrl d and let's bring them at the bottom and let's bring them down like this and we will select this last one and we will delete it go to the strip and let's add this and enable this layer okay now select this middle one and change the color of this one to red again okay then we will take a distance of five frames and we will follow the same procedure again like this okay then select all of this and press ctrl shift c and let's call it as animation and hit ok then go to the effect and presets and search for fill effect and double click to apply and change the color of this one to someone like this select this hit ctrl d change the color of this one to blue select this hit ctrl d change the color of this one to yellow select this hit ctrl d change the color of this to orange and copy this first one hit ctrl d and bring them at the top okay and now we are going to take a distance of one one second let's say for a while and let's see what we will get
yep. you will get this continuous animated background now we will go to around four seconds over here i mean at this point hit b let's go inside this hit u and let's see where is the last keyframe which is somewhere around over here and go to the main animation and try to hit n over here but we have to check out whether this is in the form of loop so for that what we can do we need to add one guideline so hit ctrl r and let's bring the ruler over here now let's suppose i'm going to take this circle as you guys can see the combination of over here is blue and yellow and this is our spot that whenever uh, this kind of uh, image is going to appear uh, the yellow part should touch this guideline so we will see where are we gonna get that combination in our entire coming upcoming animation which is supposed to be blue and yellow like this as you guys can see we have this blue and yellow combination so let's see we are not getting anything like that so uh, what we can do let's uh, we need to move this over here because the last keyframe is over here so at this point so we'll go to the main animation we will hit b over here and now we will try to get the combination of this one so i'll move this over here yellow and purple and slightly red uh, portion over here so now let's move this and let's see when we are going to get that combination which is somewhere around over here let's go one foot backward and hit it so as you guys can see the combination over here and combination over here is quite similar so now if i see this animation i'll get this animation in the form of loop let's see like this so this is how you can create this kind of looping background animation inside of after effects